Hello viewers, today we are going to make hollandaise sauce which is a hot basic emulsion sauce. To make the hollandaise sauce we require butter, eggs, peppercorns, vinegar, salt, pepper and mustard powder. To begin with we add the butter into a pan. The butter should be cut into smaller cubes so that it melts evenly and does not burn, does not brown. We put the pan over low heat and allow the butter to melt. When all the butter has melted, we put off the flame and allow the butter to rest so that the middle solids settle down. Next, we take the peppercorns and using a rolling pin, we crush them coarsely. We put the crushed peppercorns into a pan and add vinegar to it. Put this on low heat to make the reduction. This is done to infuse the flavor of peppercorns into the vinegar. Now you can see the vinegar has reduced. Now what we'll do is we'll take it off the heat. We'll add a tablespoon of water, tablespoon and a half of water and let it cool. Now after resting the butter for some time, you'll see this froth will just take off all of this. Take it off as much as you can and then without disturbing the pan, strain the butter through a muslin, taking care not to add these milk solids which are at the base of the pan. Take off as much butter as you can. Now we have the clarified melted butter. Now after preparing the clarified butter and the reduction, the next thing we do is to separate the yolks and the whites. Using the shell, separate the whites from the yolks. And add the yolks into a bowl. Strain the reduction, which is slightly warm, into the egg yolks. Mustard powder, which acts as an emulsifier and also imparts taste. Now I'll whisk it again. Keep a duster on the table, put the bowl on the duster so that the bowl does not move during the whisking and we whisk it 
till it forms a little trough. Whisk the egg yolks at the reduction till it's slightly frothy and then place it on a double boiler. The water is just simmering. The bowl is put on the uh, saucepan and it should not, the base of the bowl should not touch the water. The eggs have to cook by the steam. Here should be taken that it should not heat up too much because the eggs will coagulate. We don't want them to coagulate. Keep stirring. Now we have to cook it to a sabayon, a ribbon stage, when the whisk will leave a mark in the mixture. If it gets too hot, lift it off the double boiler and keep whisking. A temperature of about above 70 will coagulate the egg yolks. Now the mixture is getting thicker and thicker. Keep whisking. Make sure the egg yolk sticking to the sides is scraped off, otherwise it will coagulate. Now this is the ribbon stage when the whisk leaves the mark and it does not come back quickly. Now at this point we will take it off the double boiler and start incorporating warm melted butter. Initially we will add little quantity of butter and mix it in. Now the emulsion has started forming, we can increase the quantity of butter and if it gets cold we will take it back to the boiler. Now the quantity of butter can be increased. It gets cold again, take it back to the boiler. Maintaining the temperature is very important. It shouldn't get too hot, it shouldn't get too cold. Now if the sauce gets too thick, you can add a little lemon juice to it. Juice of about half a lemon should be enough. Add more butter. Now keep adding butter, the remaining butter, till all the butter is used up. Finally, a little more lemon juice, some seasoning, salt and some white pepper. We'll mix it in. Yummy hollandaise sauce is ready. We'll shift it into a bowl. And we'll taste it for seasoning. Nice buttery peppery flavor taste. I'm sure you'll be able to make hollandaise sauce now. To recap, to make the hollandaise sauce you need two eggs, two egg yolks, one and a half tablespoons of vinegar, four to six peppercorns. You need clarified butter, about 200 grams. Beat the yolks at the reduction of uh, vinegar and uh, peppercorns 
add mustard powder and start incorporating the clarified warm butter over a double boiler. Initially add butter slowly till the emulsion starts forming and then increase the quantity of butter. Whisk continuously till all the butter is used up. In the end add seasoning, salt and pepper and some lemon juice. Thank you.